Welcome the athletes to the field for the Recurve Men's quarterfinal match number four. Bayanlar, baylar, klasik erkekler çeyrek filenin dördüncü maçında yarışacak sporcuları sahaya davet ediyoruz. On target number one, the actual fourth in the world ranking, representing Italy. Bir numaralı hedef, dünya dördüncü sıralamasında bulunan İtalya'dan Mauro Nespoli. On target number two, the actual rank number two in the world, representing Republic of Korea. Rakipi, iki numaralı hedef, dünya sıralamasında ikinci, Kore'den Lee Wurzer. Lee, you will shoot first. Let's play you will shoot second, okay? Are you both ready? Lee, are you ready? Ready? Okay, target number two is shooting first. The range is clear. Begin the match. Well, here we go. The top seed, Lee Woo Suk from Korea, is on target two. He's going to be shooting first, and he's up against the third seed, Mauro Nespoli of Italy. Just see uh, Lee salute instead of uh, waving his hands to uh, the audience. I think that uh, has something to do with him being in the army. Uh, and supposedly, I've heard that if he wins this competition, he doesn't have to be in the army anymore, so he can just go and full-time train. Interesting insight. No, they both they start with like. nines. Nespoli shoots a very, very high poundage. Uh, I think he's over 60 pounds. Um, you can see that he's uh, he's shaking a bit today, but um, I'm sure that you can see the difference in, in aero speed between Lee Wusuk and Mauro Nespoli. Um, and it would make a difference if it was very windy. Let's come back to that point as they both finish with tens. Uh, there will be a measure to see whether the second arrow of Lee will be upgraded to a ten. But even if it isn't, he's done enough. Let's have a listen to target one, the target judge. Ten, nine, eight, twenty-seven. Okay. Target two. Ten. Ten. Nine. Twenty-nine. Well, there you go. Okay. There you target judge who was yesterday's Sorry. judge <laughs> for the compound event so in the ten the nine has been upgraded to a ten I think we're gonna see them here uh, you can't quite see it's obscured by the first arrow which is definitely a nine but obviously that one was clearly a ten and he takes the first set 29 to 27 okay you have zero points you will shoot first you have two points you will shoot second not okay, yet but it's uh, it looks like he's very, very one, tense. He has a lot of uh, uh, vibration in shoot. his body, and uh, the, the release isn't as smooth as, uh, as it might have been uh, in Salt Lake, for instance. And I think he um, he's struggling a bit. He seems to be a bit tired, or but um, it might just be nerves, and he, he might be over it by now. Yeah. Well, as you mentioned, Salt Lake. That's how he qualified Mara Nespoli, winning in Salt Lake City. Yes. And, uh, he seems to have settled his nerves. Lee Wu Suk was also an uh, automatic qualifier because he won back in Antalya the World Cup stage on the Turkish coast in the Mediterranean. I didn't expect that to land in the eight. That was a pretty good looking shot. But you can see his elbow now. Mauro Nespoli's elbow is, is going back and forth and his bow is vibrating and everything. So, uh, yeah, it would have. It, it oh, yeah. would have. Um, a positive side, uh, getting a very heavy poundage on your bow because you would have uh, your arrow less time in the air, so it doesn't have as much time to 
get uh, influenced. But I'm not sure if it's uh, if if it's always good if you're in a stressful situation. Yes, yeah, it's uh, one. a second of ten and a fist pump from the Italian. Twenty-nine out of a possible thirty, but Schoenberg is an expert here and he's seeing. Getting an insight to some of the stuff that we uh, try and notice ourselves. Uh, but despite that, Nespoli does secure the second set point and draws level at two all with Lee Wu Suk. Thank you. And uh, it's interesting to see that how, what an effect one arrow can have, not only on the score, but also the overall outcome in terms of their psyche as we look at all of the arrow shots so far. Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing here. Um, yeah, Nespoli has uh, has two nines that are a bit high and right, and uh, Wusuk has two nines that are left and low, but for the rest it's uh, it's similar. So you will shoot first? Well, despite that tension, he was Target able to two, shoot two tens. You can clearly Green, see clear. the uh, shoot. elbow the drawing with shaking at the end. Yeah, but he is a good example of also making it work. So um, <laughs> even <laughs> though he's he's shaking a bit now, but he's uh, he's definitely struggling a bit. Oh. So, Lee with six arrow goes 212 kilometers an hour. So what's the speed? 242, so that's a 30 kilometers an hour difference. Yeah, especially if you think about Lee with Suk not being a, a weak person. Oh. You know. He's on a, a top level of archery and, and yeah, the difference is uh, is very, very noticeable. A well, couple of tens so far. Can we, we should get a perfect 30. Not quite, but um, it's still good enough to get this set. Yeah, put it out of reach with that nine. Elbow there, desperately moving perhaps more so than before. As Chef yeah. says, he makes it work. But Lee Wusuk put that one too far away from Nespoli and he's gone back into the lead here, scoring with a couple of beautiful tens. You, know, you needed a nine to finish it off. And here we look back at those two tens. Yeah, Lee has a very, very good style if, uh, if it's up to me. He's very relaxed in his, in his anchor and uh, in his aiming routine. And uh, his release is nice and crisp and um, much contrary to, uh, to Nespoli. Um, no bad things about Nespoli, but he, he's a bit more uh, tense and a bit more... Well, his release is not yeah, how I would teach people to release, but... Um, You'll shoot second. Oh well. He is in the World Cup final. Okay, he is, uh, one is shooting first. Doing quite well. The range is clear. Shoot. Well, the line judge has declared the range safe to shoot. So we go into the fourth set of the last men's quarterfinal just here in Samson. Just compare this release. So the fingers completely oh. open. Oh. Quasi dieci, vicinissima, dai, dai. What do you see with Lee Wusuk, who's I think still the cadet world record holder at the 70 or the, the 60 meter run. So you didn't see those fingers open. And that's just because the, the tension on the fingers of Lee Wusuk is so much lower than the tension on Mauro Nespoli's fingers for holding all that poundage that well, he cannot hold the swing without Bravo. having to put a lot of tension on the fingers. Second of the two Koreans to shoot here in Samson. Bit of a longer hold. No, it's an Easter. Vicina. So, a 10 required to win. And can he join Kim Woo Jin into the semi finals? He gets a 9. 
So draws level on points. So the two will share those two set points now. Nespoli still trials by two, but importantly, he's still in the match. Nespoli there having a chat with uh, his coach. They seem to be He's on uh, at each other, and we have a look at the uh, arrows for Maro Nespoli. Yeah, so he has that one eight in the bottom, and the rest is just all gold. Uh, uh, his group of tens is a bit on the left, but I don't think he should be too worried about it. Yeah, I mean it all looks pretty good, and even that eight's not that far away from the goal. It's, it's all right. No man overboard here. Well, trailing by two still. Nespoli will shoot first. One more set here. This will either be concluded with a Lee win. Nespoli will draw level and we'll have a shoot off. Yes. Great start from the Italian. It's step one to securing a shoot off. Ah! not having it. <laughs> he wants to make sure that he doesn't have to shoot another arrow after this. Well, you can just see... No, die, die, die, die. die. Of, of field of play. Okay. Look closely behind archers. You'll see Kim in the background. He's looking on to see if his teammate oh. Lee can make it through. Another 10. And now Nespoli really has to nail this one into the 10. Gets a no, 9. No, no. So now a big chance. An 8 will be enough to draw level on the points in this set. And that's all Lee Wu Suk needs. Oh, but it's a perfect finish. 10 out of 10 in the last arrow and the previous two gives him 30 points and a 7-3 win over Mauro Nespoli. Lee Wu Suk is through to man. the semi-finals where he'll face Brady Ellison and what wow. a tremendous performance in the final set to see it out. It's confirmation that he has won that match.